Hello, my name is Michael Kaler, and I am the lab manager for the Gyme Diffraction Facility located at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. This video will cover how to customize parameter sets in HighScore Plus for use in automatic refinements. I have a number of other videos that show and explain how to use HighScore Plus for different purposes, such as phase quantification and the determination of crystallite size and microstrain, and the links for these videos can be found in the description below. If you are unfamiliar with HighScore Plus, it may be a good idea to stop this video, watch the phase identification and quantification videos first, and then return to this one. For those of you who have watched the phase quantification video, you may remember that I used a customized parameter set to make analysis much quicker. While customizing parameter sets is very easy to do, it is also easy to make a bad parameter set. Some variables should not be refined together, and some variables should be refined before others. The parameter set that I typically use is a very slight variation of Ray Young's refinement strategy. For now though, let's look at how to customize parameter sets. The first step is to go to Customize and choose Parameter Sets. See a list of functions here. We want to scroll down and choose Automatic Fitting Steps. If we click the plus sign, we see a list of the parameter sets that are currently available to us. If we double click one, we can open it and see the parameters that are set to refine and then the order in which they are set to refine. If we wanted to refine additional parameters, we could choose from this list on the left. We could choose, for instance, atomic coordinates. I can left click, drag over. This one is default to have usage of off, which means that it will not refine, but if you want this to refine, just left click once to put a check mark in the box. We can change the order in which this falls in our refinement strategy with move up or down. Or if we don't want to refine this, we can even just delete the row. Now let's look at each one of these in more detail because there are options that you cannot see in this view. So scale factor, we have two options. Switch off after usage, it is currently set to false. This means that it will start refining here and then continue to refine throughout the refinement strategy. If this said true, it would refine right here and then it would not refine as we moved on. Used equals true, that just means that we have a check mark here and it will refine. Flat background has the same options. More background has two additional options. Number of additional background parameters. It's currently set to two because my background is very simple. If you need additional parameters to get a better fit for your background, you can change those, uh, that value here. We also have use 1 over x background term 2. It's set to true. This helps model the uh, low angle increase of background that's common in powder diffraction files. Specimen displacement has the original same two options. Lattice parameters has an additional option. This one is minimum weight percentage and it's currently set to 5. What this means is that any phase that has less than 5% uh, by weight, the lattice parameters will not refine. And that's because the peaks are likely too small in order to make lattice parameter refinement accurate. Your value might say something else. If it says minus one, that means that there is no minimum weight percentage and all phases will refine lattice parameters. But I suggest having a 5% minimum. We have the W profile variable that also has a minimum weight percentage of five. Preferred orientation has a minimum weight percentage of 10. And this toggle directions is true. What this means is that the software will try a variety of different preferred orientations and choose the best one at the end. If this said false, then it would use whichever preferred orientation you specified in the refinement control up here. But I will leave it as true. The U and V variables both have minimum weight percentages of 10 and peak shape parameters one and two have minimum weight percentages of five. So these are the values that I suggest using. 
Um, once you are done either modifying your program or making a new one, you can click Save Parameter Set As and either type in a new program name or parameter set name or choose an existing one. If you choose an existing one and hit OK, it will ask you if you want to overwrite. If you do, just say OK. At that point, you can close out and your parameter set should be found in this list. That's pretty much it for this video. As a reminder, if you would like to learn more about using Highscore Plus, links to my other tutorials can be found in the description below. If you would like to learn more about our facility, the link to our website can also be found in the description below. The address to our website can also be found on the top right portion of the video screen. Finally, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.